you guys today's video is gonna be this little drugstore tutorial on prom so I use nothing but drugstore except my bronzer that's the only thing I use that's non drug drugstore just because of the fact that I already have it in a palette but other than that let's get into the video so you can learn how to get this so the first thing drugstore thing we're gonna start doing is my eyes so the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna be using today is the city mini palette by Maybelline this is already the third time I used it so we're gonna go gradually gradually in the shades because it already has it laid out for you it's yellow yellow orange brown and red so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our little brush blending brush and we're gonna go into this yellow shade I know I already hit pen and I'm gonna look at the mirror over here and we're just gonna blend that out on the brow bone Okay, so now we're going to go into this orange shade right here. I don't know if y'all can see. Hopefully you can. But this top right corner. And we're going to put it a little bit lower than the yellow. Okay, so now we're going to start going into this brown shade right here. And we're going to go lower right in the crease. Okay, so now we're going to go, using this part of our eye, we're going to go into the corner and blend out in the crease as well. This maroon shade right here. Okay, so now we're going to go in, let me get the brush real quick. Now we're going to go and blend out all this like on your brow bone because it's, you know. So we're going to get to see white shade. It is white, but since it's so like, since it does, cho it's chalky and it kind of like flies everywhere really fast, the flyaway. So it gets in the white, but it's still white. Now we're going to put it on the corner of our brow bone. I'm just kind of blend it out. And now at this time, you can do like add more yellow, add more orange. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more colors that I think should pop out more. So, okay. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is start using my concealer. The Fit Me in 25 from Maybelline. Yeah, it's Maybelline. Yeah, it's Maybelline. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut my crease with this just a little bit because I mean, I'm going to add glitter. And then after I cut the crease, I'm going to add glue.
Okay, before the glue dries down, I put the glitter on first. So what we're going to use is the NYX Face and Body Glitter. In the sh it's 08, the shade name. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, this is the glitter I'm going to go into. So what I like to do is get I keep this brush, even though it's like really old and I don't like to get glitter on my other brushes and I kind of just pat on my eyes. So I just open it up, put the glitter all in the cap. So I open it upside down and then I dip into this part of the brush and then I stack it all on top of the glue. So now I'm going to add glue to the other side of my eye and do the same thing. Okay, so I know I have glitter on my all over my face, but I have a trick to take care of that. But for right now, I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. And it is an e.l.f. And it's jet black. I don't know if y'all can see. So I'm just going to go in and do my eyeliner. Okay, so I know my eyeliner is a little messy, so I'm going to go ahead and clean all that up. Okay, so I'm gonna add my lashes after I do all my makeup. So, what I like to do for the glitter is I get some tape and I wrap it kind of around my, like my two, three fingers, like this. Tap off all that stickiness, like the extra stickiness. And then I'm just going to go in and get all that glitter off. Of course, you're not going to get every single piece, but it does get a big majority of that glitter. I don't know if y'all can see all the glitter it left on the thing. But that's a lot. That was on my face. <clears throat> So 
Tint Primer. And I used the Joa Selfie Ready Hydrating Primer. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my face. Okay, so now I'm going to go for my cushion foundation by uh, Joa as well, and I'm in natural beige, I believe. So I don't like to use a sponge or an applicator anymore. I just kind of like go in with my finger and dot it all over my face. So I just get a bit and I just plop it on my face. <clears throat> And I like this one because it's like not a f well I don't know some people want full coverage but me I'm not used to wearing foundation so this is like especially if it, you're only wearing makeup today for prom it's good just for that it's just like a BB cream like it adds a shade like you're all one color but it isn't too heavy So I'm gonna go into my foundation brush by Tarte and I'm just gonna mix all of it. So now we're going to go back into my Maybelline concealer. <clears throat> and we're just going to go under the eyes and everywhere else I need concealer at. Oh, and I'm going to go in with my... <clears throat> and I'm going to go in with my little concealer brush. But I don't know what to buy. I got it by I got it in my Ipsy bag, but I think it's the name right there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but that's the name. Okay, so now I'm going to go with my setting powder. It's the Selfie Ready in Peach. It's also by Joa as well. Joa as well. And I go into my Morphe sponge because it has a corner tip. And I just go in and just set all along where I conceal.
around now. I know this is the only thing I think I'm not using that's not drugstore is the bronzer just because I haven't got one because it already came in this palette but I'm just going to go with my bronzer and I'm going to go with my brush and just go along my cheekbones. And I'm going to go back with my Morphe thing, my Morphe sponge, and I'm just going to long clean it and do the same thing on the other side, clean. And now we're going to just stuff all the baking I had with my little Kabuka, Kabuka, that's what it's called, Kabuka brush, I guess, and it's by Tarte. So I'm just going to just all that. And so for my blush, I go into this blush palette called Blush. I think I went over it so many times, but I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques brush. And I'm going to go into the color Lush right here. And just put it where you would normally on the your cheeks, nose, chin, and forehead. Just so you don't look so flushed out with all the setting powder. And now we're going to set your whole face. And we're going to go in with the Dewy Setting Selfie Ready by Joa as well. I have so much stuff that's Joa, but oh well. So I'm going to set my face. Just so I'm not so mad by all that powder I have just on my face. Now we're going to go into my Luna highlighter. I usually go in my Becca, but since this is the drugstore one, this is my Luna highlighter. And I'm going to spray my highlighting brush. And we're going to go into the highlighter. So I just that put put it on my cheeks and my nose and a little bit on my cheek. You can put a little on your forehead, but I don't wanna I get greasy fast so I don't like to do that. And then I'm gonna finish my brows since I did set them with my Joa again. Um down to me. And I don't use the pencil or the stick. I just use this little brush, the gel at the end to keep up my brows. Hairs in the front. I just like to get all that excess off. Okay, so I'm going to go back Go back with my lashes and get dressed and do my hair so I'll be back. Okay guys, that was it. It was just this drugstore tutorial. And yeah, because I know you don't have to go all out with all these palettes and everything to have a good makeup look. And I just proved it right now. So yeah, I just did my hair in a little bunny. It's a little donut. And I put my hair down. I'm going to have a half up, half down when I go to prom. It's just, I don't know how to do hair. So this is the most elegant thing I can do for prom. So yeah, um, this would this tutorial goes more for like bronzy colors, like if you're wearing a nude dress or like a bronzy yellow orange dress, these are great. Or yeah, or orange or green. It goes with a lot of colors. You can, because especially since the glitter is like a bronzy gold, it goes with a lot. So yeah, and I know y'all noticed that my light 
things different and my stands different because of the fact that my friend Amanda, aka my YouTube mom, she got me all this stuff. So I'm really grateful because I used to just bounce it on the mirror and like hope for the best. But now I have a lie and a stand so now y'all can see it better and clearer. And I can use my back camera now. Right now I'm using my front but y'all can see with the back camera. So I'm really grateful for her. I'll like I'll link her YouTube down below because, of course, she's my YouTube mom, so she has a YouTube channel herself. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Comment down below what colors y'all want me to do next or what color dress you have so I can do a look. Ugh. So I can do a look on that, too. So, see you later, guys. Okay, guys, that's it. It was just this easy drug-free. Drug drug-free.